Hi folks. So there's a very common like problem that happens with like these little 3D printing pens that I just figured out how to solve. Why is my camera all blurry? So I figured I'd like uh, I figured out, I figured I'd show you how how I solved it. Um that likes to be super close today. So uh, basically, this is the state that my uh, affairs were in. Okay, can you hold this camera for me? Yeah. Basically, what you have is that. You end up with that. That was in the nozzle end. When you try and pull back and then go back, you end up with these clumps. And the clump on the end of your reel, can't go out either end. You try and go all the way forward, it just stops. Try and go all the way backward, it just stops, right? So, um, it's stuck in the tube, right? It's even got this annoying little piece sticking off of it. Can barely move around in the tube, right? Like that's hard to pull, in, pull around in the tube. And then the tube, as you can see, I failed to put back in when I put the thing back together. So I'm showing you guys again how this all works. First, not, first you do that, undo that, there's this little like bracket, okay? And he holds down, now I just dislodged the whole board. That's no good, you can't do that. Because this white thing pushes that button. Now I gotta push them all back forward to make sure they align with the button. Nobody's gonna have a fucking clue what you're talking about. These two buttons, push those two buttons, see? See, and I just screwed it up. There we go, that's better. Hear the clicky noise? Yes. Yeah, so and, and f I gotta j hold the chip down while I unplug these two guys. Now normally when you're taking this apart, this tube would be in there still, held down by this bracket here. And, uh, and now we take the whole back mechanism, the whole feeder out. Okay, and just just so you guys understand where I was at, um, I'm going to show you exactly what, what, what I went through to get this back out so you can do it yourself. They understand or they wouldn't be watching this. Yeah. No, no, I mean you're going to see how I did it. I, once I got the feeder out and the tube out, mind you in my case the tube was still stuck in there, um, I plugged the whole mess back in. And once it was plugged back in, I was able to feed back through and out. So in a minute, that's going to go green and you'll see where I'll, I'll reenact what I did, basically. We're waiting on something to happen. The light, red light goes green when it's ready to extrude, yeah. Okay. This fucking video is about ready to extrude. Okay. Shit, see? See, I didn't have the board I didn't have the board back in right, so when I tried to push the back button, it didn't work. Hi folks, okay, I'll working. try and teach him how to make short to the point videos from now okay, on. It's working now. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Okay, you see how this guy is moving forward? What? What are we looking Look at? Look in the tube. Forward, backward. Yep. Okay. Um, what was, yeah, see, it was stuck like this. So what I did was I literally just, once this was all free like this, I just extruded forward, got the tube off. Ooh, that's hot. And once the piece was out, I could throw it away. I could put this back in. I obviously unplug at that point. And then I have to feed these guys back through the hole they originally were in. Where's the plutonium? Yeah, but yeah, that's how you get it clean. <laughs> that's how you get the, the, the tube clean if that if that blockage happens. And then you gotta slowly, carefully put the whole caboodle back together. But at this point, you know, all you really have to worry about, like I said, is making sure those two buttons line up with their uh, their buttons, you know what I mean? Uh, so what's left? Their buttons and their buttons being the little mechanisms. Yeah, the outside big white buttons and the little 
those guys, those little guys there that the actual, that is an actual button on the board. Okay. Yeah, you got, uh, that's how you, that's how you fix it when the problem is a blockage. Very often the problem is just like electrical problem and that's a different issue. I don't know how to fix that one yet, but uh, a lot of them break because of just blockages. Thanks for watching, folks.